I'd like to make a dental appointment for Danny. At 10.30? Well, that's fine. I'll see that Danny is there on time. <laughs> aren't you, Cap? Maybe I shouldn't have run away. I I'll bet you think I'm a bad boy. Well, you'd run away, too, if you had to go to the dentist. Maybe you wouldn't have to go to the dentist if you could chew sticks and bones like I can. Well, what's so different about your teeth? Well, I eat a lot of tough food, so I have big, strong, crushing teeth. Look at the marks on this stick. A crushing teeth works something like a nutcracker. You know, you have crushing teeth too, Danny. Yeah, I didn't know that. Which ones are they? Oh, they're back in your mouth a little ways. You have eight all together, two up above and two below on each side of your mouth. They're called bicuspids because they have two points. Well, if I have bicuspids, I guess I could eat bones, too, if, if I wanted to. Well, maybe not bones, but you should eat all kinds of food to exercise your different teeth. You have other kinds of teeth, Danny, besides bicuspids. That's right, Cap. Take me, for instance. Hey, who said that? Hi there, Cap and Danny. Oh, hello, Bushy. What about your teeth? Why do you see the swell front teeth I've got? They're called incisors. Because I eat lots of roots and nuts, my incisors have to be sharp and thin-edged. See what I mean? You have incisor teeth too, Danny. Maybe they're not as big as mine, but they're right in the front of your mouth. Gosh, I guess I do have incisors. I've got eight of them. Four up above and four below. Yes, sir. Incisors are great teeth. And nobody has a many bigger than I have. Yep, I guess you're right, Bushy. Thanks for... Hey, where'd he go? Oh, Bushy is a busy little squirrel and he has lots to do. Well, Come on, Danny. Let's look for some other kinds of teeth. Okay, Cap. You, you go on ahead. I'm coming. there, Tom. This is my young master, Danny. Hi, Tom. How are you? Hello, Danny. Hi, Cap. Danny is looking for different types of teeth. What types do you have? Well, I've got all kinds, but my canine teeth, they're wonderful. They're for holding and tearing my food. And they're called cuspids because they're pointed. Something like these tongs. 
You have cuspids too, Danny, but they're not as sharp and long as mine. They're on each side of your incisors. One cuspid up above and one down below on each side of your mouth. Gee, you sure know a lot about teeth, Tom. Well, you will too, Danny. Well, thanks, Tom. We'll be seeing you. Yeah, come around sometime for some fish, Tom. Bye. So long. Hello there, Daisy. How's the alfalfa? Hello, Cap. Oh, the alfalfa's fine, just fine. This is Danny, my young master. Will you tell him something about your teeth? Why, sure, Cap. I'd be glad to. You see, Danny, I have very large and strong grinding teeth because I chew my hay and grass all day long. And, of course, I chew my cud, too. Grinding teeth work just like this. Get the idea? You've got grinding teeth too, Danny. They're called molars, and they're way back in your mouth. There are two molars up above, and two down below, on each side of your mouth. You should eat tough foods like I do, Danny, so your molars will get a whole lot of exercise. Well, I guess I'd better be going. It's just about milking time, and I want to be in the barn when Farmer Jones comes to do the milking. Gee, I never knew you animals had all those different kinds of teeth, bicuspids and incisors and cuspids and molars. I guess I wouldn't have to see the dentist if I ate bones and nuts and tough meat and hay, but, gee, who wants to eat all those things? You don't have to, Danny. You can eat the things you like. Your teeth also need nourishment. Foods that have all the different vitamins. Cap is right again, Danny. Now I furnish you with two important foods. The first one is milk. You should have four glasses or a whole quart of milk each day. The next food I supply you with is butter. You should eat at least six teaspoonfuls of butter or margarine every day. Each one of these little squares you see mother cutting off the cube is about a teaspoonful. Don't forget me. I furnish another important too, Danny. Eggs. You should eat at least one egg each day, or four or five a week anyway. Yes, sir, Danny. Milk butter and eggs. Then you should eat one large serving of meat and cheese or fish every day. Also, you should eat some of all these vegetables and fruits. Here they come. Potatoes, cauliflower, Let's see how many of them you can name, Danny. 